Unraveling the Mystery, Lost and Wandering, Explained. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic that many of you have requested. We're going to explore the meaning and use of the phrases, lost, and wandering, in the English language. These words can be powerful when used separately, but together, they create a vivid image that we encounter in literature, everyday conversation, and even in our personal experiences. So, let's get started and unravel the mystery behind Lost and Wandering. The word lost can be used in several contexts. Primarily, it refers to the state of not knowing where you are or being unable to find your way. However, lost can also describe something that is gone and cannot be recovered, like lost time or a lost opportunity. Moreover, in a more metaphorical sense, it can describe a person who is confused or lacking direction in life. Understanding the context is key to comprehending the full meaning when someone says they feel lost. On the other hand, wandering has a slightly different nuance. It typically means to move or travel aimlessly, without a clear destination or purpose. It can be physical, like wandering through a city's streets, or metaphorical, such as one's mind wandering during a dull lecture. Unlike lost, which can have a negative connotation, wandering sometimes carries a sense of freedom and exploration, though it can also imply restlessness or uncertainty. When we combine these two words into the phrase, lost and wandering, we paint a picture of someone who is not only physically or mentally misplaced but is also moving without direction or purpose. This phrase can evoke feelings of loneliness, confusion, or the search for meaning. It's a powerful description of a particular state of being that many people can relate to at various points in their lives. In literature, this phrase is often used to describe characters who are on a journey of self-discovery or who are facing significant internal or external challenges. Lost and wandering is a versatile phrase used in both everyday language and literature to convey complex emotional states or describe physical situations. In conversation, saying someone is lost and wandering might indicate concern for their well-being or direction in life. In literature, it can be a tool for building character depth or setting the stage for a transformative journey. We hope this exploration into the meaning of lost and wandering has been enlightening. These phrases, rich with imagery and emotion, offer us a way to describe the profound experiences of life's uncertainties and quests for purpose. Whether you're reading a novel, engaging in conversation, or reflecting on your own life's journey, understanding the nuances of these words can deepen your comprehension and expression. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to uncovering more language mysteries together. Stay curious, and never stop learning!